linking Master Key to Next Generation 2 in Revit 2015. MasterKey delivers keynotes to Revit that are sourced from your Next Generation 2 specifications. To enable this, you must link a specification to a Revit project. In this tutorial, we'll assume that you've already logged into MasterKey and the MasterKey palette is docked in the Project Browser Base Properties palette. You'll notice by default that along the top toolbar, the project initially has not been assigned to a Next Generation 2 specification. To assign a project to a specification, expand the master key specification library. You'll see a list of all the specifications your practice has on the Next Generation 2 server, including ones that are currently been edited, those that are set to complete, and the specifications that are archived. To assign a specification to the project you're currently open, select the specification you want, then double click on the name of that specification. MasterKey will build the keynotes and assert the database into the Revit project. The top toolbar will now display the name of the project specification you clicked and are now currently linked to. Expand the keynote file tree to access all the work sections of this specification. You can also note that any keynotes that had already been assigned to this project have been copied into the custom keynote section for your use. These can be edited and deleted directly through the master key interface in Revit. The system also supplies a master spec keynote sample tag that can be dragged and dropped into your current project to be edited in your required format. Double click on the keynote to make format changes to the keynote style. Make sure you save the Revit project to keep the changes and also the master key keynote database link. Note, under the Annotate tab, Keynote, Keynote Settings, you can see where the Keynote text file is stored. Click on View to display all the keynotes available for keynote tagging using the traditional method. Alternatively, select or highlight a keynote and double click quickly and then you can change its properties as required.